listeners and subscribers hope all is well so you've probably heard about this one already i think today i'll echo the mainstream as well right uh no i'm gonna go ahead and uh talk about this article here uh, perry high school students say they were disrespected for wearing maga gear on usa day Okay, and uh, this was just updated 40 minutes ago. This is from March 1st, so just yesterday. Okay, this is uh, March 2nd, uh, Saturday. So several students at Perry High School say they were disrespected by staff and asked to leave campus because they were wearing Make America Great Again attire. Friday was the last day of Spirit Week at the high school, and it was dubbed Party in the USA Day. We just wore all the America stuff we had. Obviously, Trump is the president, so we wore Trump stuff because he's the leader of our country, right? At least eight students in MAGA gear were brought to the office at the end of the school day. The students say they were taking pictures in their outfits and holding a President Trump flag when a resource officer approached them. Uh-oh. The police officer came up and said, We would like you to take off your merchandise and get off the campus. The students, were asked, the students asked the officer why and started to walk off school property when they said he started taking photos of them and asked them to come into the front office. He signaled me out and said, Hey, darling, what's your name? And I was kind of like, why do you need my name? We're going off campus. We're doing what you told us. The students called their parents as they were being escorted to the administration office. She said that they had been asked to leave the school campus because they were wearing Make America Great Things and they were taking pictures with a big banner. Jennifer Ferris, Tori's mom, said, Ferris walked into the office with her cell phone recording video of the encounter. In the video, you can hear her ask the staff if her daughter was being told to leave because of her MAGA sweatshirt, and a woman told her no. I asked why they were asked to leave the campus, and they said because they were displaying the flag, Ferris said. I said, are they not allowed to do that? And they said, no, it's disrespectful, and we see that as disrespecting the flag, and we asked them not to. Ferris said she was trespassed from the school property and forced to leave. Jones said the flag was in her backpack for most of the day aside from an assembly for USA Day and when they were taking photos. Us taking pictures wasn't a new thing. People do it all the time and they don't have any problems with it. It's a very normal thing to do and it seemed kind of off to me that as soon as it had to do with Trump, they said you guys need to get off campus said Depuis. Depuis said that throughout the day, different teachers and faculty asked him to remove his MAGA clothes. She was like, that's very disrespectful and you should not be wearing that and take this off. If I see you with it again, you'll get in trouble. I'll write you up. I'll tell your coach, said Depuis. Depuis said a coach made him do 1,000 uh, up-downs for being disrespectful. I was like, isn't Trump our president? And he goes, yeah. So why shouldn't I be able to wear uh, that for USA Day? And quote unquote, all he said was, I don't have an answer to your question. The Chandler Unified School District would only tell Arizona family that one student was suspended for an unrelated matter. Jones, the suspended student, said she's not allowed back for 10 days because she was being defiant. She said they essentially suspended her because she wouldn't talk to the front office until her mother arrived. The students say they don't understand why they were being disrespected for supporting the president. They were like trying to make us feel bad for wearing what I wear. I just think this is censorship at its finest when it comes to the schools. They can't put USA Day and not expect the kids to support their president. And if you're going to do that, what are you teaching the kids? It's not clear if any other students are facing disciplinary actions. So this is absolutely incredible. I will leave a link to this article, but you would think if it's USA Day that you would be able to support your president and, and these are kids, you know, not be uh, disciplined, not be reprimanded, okay? And I'm talking about this because this happened in Gilbert, Arizona, okay? Not too far from uh, where I am. This is the in the general area in the Phoenix area, okay? So I, I just thought that was incredible. It's happening here in our home state and, you know, we're supposedly a Republican state. Uh, I think this is absolutely incredible. I can't believe this has happened here. You know, I know we don't agree on everything. We're not going to, but we shouldn't let, you know, things deteriorate to this. This is this is incredible. You know, there are many people out there who would say, oh, well, the MAGA hat stands for hate. You know, I think that's wrong. I think the MAGA hat reveals hate because it's the individuals who see it, get triggered, approach the, uh, the individual who's wearing it in an aggressive manner, and then it deteriorates from there. So there's no amicable conversation. People don't come together to express their differences. The first thing that happens is somebody who is against the MAGA hat sees it, they get enraged, they approach the individual with a taint attitude, and then uh, things devolve. I mean, what do you expect? So you want to say the, the MAGA hat stands for hate, yet it's people ripping the, these hats off and spitting in people's faces and assaulting the conservatives. So who's really standing for hate? You know, because if the MAGA hat really stood for hate, you wouldn't have people like Jesse Smollett having to make up stories of being attacked by MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, they have to go so far to make up stories about MAGA hat Trump supporters attacking liberals when it is the other way around. Crazy, isn't it? People are allowing their emotions to get the better of them. They're not approaching it in a logical manner. They're, they're approaching it uh, half-cocked and completely emotional. These are some very short-sighted individuals. They need to rethink their approach because I think they're proving a point that the MAGA hat doesn't stand for hate. It reveals hate. And that's whether you're a Republican, liberal, Democrat, conservative, doesn't matter. Independent, doesn't matter. Just because something stands for something for you doesn't always mean that it stands for the same thing for somebody else. And you definitely shouldn't be projecting your traumas or your interpretations onto other people. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there. California Carter, signing off.